The NBA announced today that Phoenix Suns owner Robert Sarver has been suspended one year and fined $10 million by the league as a result of the league's investigation into Sarver and the team. Sarver is suspended from all team activities because of, quote, workplace misconduct and organizational deficiencies uncovered by the league's investigation. The investigation says Sarver used the N-word on at least five occasions during his tenure with the organization. It also says Sarver was engaged in inequitable conduct with female employees, including making sex-related comments in the workplace and making inappropriate comments about the physical appearance of female employees. And Sarver engaged in harsh and demeaning treatment of employees by yelling and cursing at them. I'd like to now welcome in the ultimate NBA insider, Adrian Wojnarowski. Woj, what was Robert Sarver's reaction to the league's punishment? Well, uh, uh, Max, in, after the report had been completed by the league, uh, the investigation was done, and they started to talk with Robert Sarver about what either a voluntary stepping away would be or a suspension. You know, uh, both Baxter Holmes and I were told uh, that, you know, Robert Sarver w was very difficult in that process. He was not accepting of the idea that he should be suspended a year, whether there was a shorter uh, amount of time that he would have been uh, uh, willing to accept. Uh, we are unclear on, but certainly he felt a year and the $10 million fine were too harsh. And listen, that uh, information comes on the heels now of many around the league, certainly many within that Phoenix organization, who think that Robert Sarver is very fortunate uh, to still own the Phoenix Suns, that this was not taken to the league's board of governors for a vote on his removal as owner, but it's a one-year, $10 million uh, fine uh, for Sarver after you know a litany of uh, uh, race-related, uh, misogynistic, uh, comments and behavior throughout his 18-year tenure in Phoenix. So why did Commissioner Adam Silver decide against trying to remove Sarver and force him to sell the team, Adrian? Yeah, Max, uh, the way the league describes it is that there was just uh, a higher threshold with, um, uh, uh, with the Clippers and uh, the, the, the removal of ownership at that time uh, than they had based on what was in the report here. And, you know, when you, you see the one, you, you read this report at length and the details and the things, again, much of it uh, was already in uh, Baxter Holmes's reporting last year at ESPN that spurred this entire league investigation. But to, uh, I think what jumped out at certainly many people around the league, the, the fact that uh, in the league's report, it said that the findings did not find any racial um, or uh, misogynistic, essentially, uh, uh, based uh, animus uh, from Robert Sarver. And it's hard, uh, it's hard to take that and look at what he has said and done through the years. And a number of times, especially when he would use uh, the N-word and in, in, in in the way it was described was he would repeat what someone else had said and people would tell him and this was in Baxter's reporting too, that is not acceptable for you to say. You can't talk that way, and yet he continued to do it. And I think certainly, you know, that speaks to the troubling pattern of behavior uh, with Robert Sarver over a very long time running the Suns. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.